We're going to quickly cover how to use Nextcast Pro version to create radio podcast. Um, that is essentially either music and voice tracks, or um, at times it could only be voice tracks with some background music and intros. Um, we make it easy because you can use Nextcast um, instead of your audio editing program, and we believe our workflow um, is faster. Um, so it's easier to create these podcasts and edit them and render them. So if you haven't watched other videos on Nextcast, um, I, you'll need to watch how to load music in. Um, but basically you create a new category um, and then you can add music using this plus sign here and add the music that way. So I already have music loaded in my Nextcast um, and I already have a bunch of categories. I also have something that we call a rotation. Um, also referred to as a clock, and I'll show you the clock display here, so you can kind of see how the hour is formatted. If you have rotations created already, then creating this podcast is really easy because we can automatically generate the hour. Um, in addition, we can also manually create the playlist, um, and I'll show you how to do that. Basically, you would go here to Playlist Builder, and then you can just start dragging songs in. We're going to create a new playlist. Um, and so I'll just keep dragging songs in. So this, this is how you would start the hour. And again, this can be automated. Uh, let me show you that. So um, because I have my first uh, rotation or clock created here, if I hit generate, I'm just going to generate for one hour. It automatically generates my hour. I click on the date that it generated, and you see there we have a hour automatically generated from us. We can also go in and, and move tracks around, um, and, and you see, you basically get the concept. This is basically one hour of radio programming. So once we have this, um, a couple of other things I'd like to mention. If you right click right here on the radio CMP button, this is our processing. So it's got auto um, audio gain, it's got a compressor and an equalizer. Um, likewise, in the mic settings, we also have a specific microphone effects where we can put extra compression on the mic, we can use a noise gate and an EQ on the mic. So you can enhance the way your voice sounds for the particular podcast. So, once we've manually generated our playlist or created it automatically via Nextcast Scheduler, we can also, lastly, drag extra tracks in. We can move tracks around, um, and then we can voice track it. So we're going to essentially create a hour radio show with breaks in between the music. So the way voice tracking works in Nextcast is basically we click on the position where we want to voice track, and now I'm previewing the tail end of that song and I can move where I need to go. And then I can go ahead and press record here. And so now I am recording my voice track. Um, and then when I'm ready for the next song to start, I can hit mark next start. And then that song starts and I can talk over that song until I'm ready to stop recording the voice. And that is my first voice track. Once it is um, recorded, you will automatically be able to preview. Record here. And so now I am recording my voice track. Um, and then when I'm ready for the next, you get the general idea. One other cool thing is when you highlight that and you go back to um, previewing that voice track, if I made a mistake in this voice track, I can edit it with an external program. So the first time you press that, it will ask you to point to the external audio editing program. I've already done that. So I can hit that and you can see now I can go in and edit my voice track. Maybe remove some parts that I don't want to. Go ahead and save that. And then when I close it, I reload it. This will load the edited version of that voice track. I uh, want to show you one other cool thing too. On the right side here, you'll notice that there are sample buttons. Essentially, those are samples that you can add background tracks, news clips, um, 
you know external recorded interviews and essentially you just drag them onto these buttons you can also click on the button and point to the audio asset that that uh, button is going to execute so for instance i can go ahead and we're going to go ahead and press that i'm going to press record today my new dad threw a so today that sample button is now being recorded to the voice track and you can also adjust the volume here. You can also um, start and stop, and you can create a looped one. So you can select a looped option for that sample button. You can also pick a color for that sample button. So if I want that button green, I can have that button green. Okay, and then I've now, again, recorded a voice track with, press record. there you see. My new dad threw a barbecue. So Today, my new that son sample and I. button. Okay, you guys get the idea. So once I've completed my hour podcast, uh, it could also be multiple hours if you choose, um, you are now ready to render it. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our playlist rotation screen. The playlist that I generated was for that date. Um, and then I can just right click here and I select render to MP3. Now um, here is where you can put your name of your podcast, the file name that's going to be uploaded. Um, and then I can hit render and you'll see what happens here. Essentially, this gets uh, rendered to a file very fast within three to four minutes and all your voice tracks and everything will be laid in that track. I'll get back to it once it's done. It'll just take a couple of minutes. Okay, so once you have completed the um, render process, it takes about two to five minutes. Now you will see that it's uploading to our FTP server. Um, you can choose to cancel that by just closing this, but I'd like to, sh I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. So that would have uploaded your podcast to your FTP server. I wanna show you where that um, actual one hour show ends up so that you have access to that. So you will go back to the track list, add music screen. You'll go to live recordings. Uh, the last one done was here. If you go to uh, right click on that one and select open track file location, this is where the actual one hour file ended up. The other thing that is added here is uh, there's a cue sheet that's created. And essentially that is a list of all the tracks of audio in that file and the time that each one of those starts. So that's helpful for some internet broadcasters. When you're doing podcasts, this has the metadata to be able to send out what tracks are playing. Um, so that's basically it. That's how you can use Nextcast to create um, radio podcast or even um, talk podcast. And um, thanks for checking out this video.